We're given y is a random variable with a binomial distribution where n the number of trials is two and p the probability of success is 0 0.7. Number one, we're asked to construct the probability distribution table for y and then number two, we're asked to determine the probabilities. Let's begin by determining the probabilities, the probability y equals zero, the probability y equals one, and the probability y equals two. We will find these probabilities using the formula shown here on the right and then we'll also verify them using Desmos. For our formula, n is equal to two, p is equal to 0 0.7, and k takes on the values of zero, one, and two. So the probability that y is equal to zero is equal to n choose k is two choose zero, times p to the power of k which is 0 0.7 to the power of zero times the quantity one minus p, which is one minus 0 0.7 or 0 0.3 to the power of n minus k, which is two minus zero, giving us 0 0.3 squared. Let's go ahead and write the combination using factorials. Two choose zero is equal to two factorial divided by zero factorial times n minus k factorial is two minus zero factorial or two factorial times 0 0.7 to the zero times 0 0.3 squared. Simplifying the quotient, two factorial divided by itself simplifies to one, zero factorial is one, and 0 0.7 to the zero is one, leaving us with the square of 0 0.3, which is equal to 0 0.09. Next we want the probability y is equal to one, so now k is equal to one, n choose k is now two choose one times p to the power of k is 0 0.7 to the one times 0 0.3 to the power of n minus k, two minus one is one. Let's write two choose one using factorials. Two choose one is equal to two factorial divided by the product of one factorial and one factorial times 0 0.7 to the first times 0 0.3 to the first. Two factorials equal to two, one factorial is equal to one, giving us two times 0 0.7 to the first times 0 0.3 to the first, which is equal to 0 0.42. And then finally we have probability y equals two. So now k is equal to two, n choose k is two choose two times p to the power of k is 0 0.7 squared times 0 0.3 to the power of n minus k, which is two minus two or zero. Two choose two using factorial is equal to two factorial divided by two factorial times zero factorial. Two factorial divided by itself simplifies to one zero factorial is equal to one, which gives us one times the square of 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 to the zero power. 0 0.3 to the zero power is one, leaving us with the square of 0 0.7 or 0 0.49. Let's quickly verify these results using desmos.com. Go to desmos.com, click graphing calculator, click show keypad, click functions, click distributions, Click binomial distribution, enter n comma k, which in our case is two comma 0 0.7. Click zoom fit, which is the magnifying glass on the left. We have a nice graph of the distribution. If we click on the three points, the second value of each ordered pair gives us the corresponding probability. The probability y equals zero is 0 0.09. The probability y equals one is 0 0.42. And the probability y equals two is 0 0.49, which does match the values that we found by hand. And now let's determine the probabilities below. For part A, we're asked to find the probability y is less than negative two. Well, y takes on the values of zero, one, or two, none of which are less than negative two, and therefore the probability y is less than negative two is zero. For part B, we want to find the probability y is less than or equal to three. Again, y takes on the values of zero, one, or two, all of which are less than or equal to three, and therefore the probability y is less than or equal to three is one or 100%. And then finally, 
for part C, you want the probability y is less than or equal to one. Well, zero and one are both less than or equal to one, and therefore the probability y is less than or equal to one is equal to 0 0.09 plus 0 0.42, which is equal to 0 0.51. I hope you found this helpful.